Welcome back Stoner Squad and of course a big welcome to all those new to the channel. My name is Danny Stoned and thank you for joining me today for another Imperial Roman video. Now today's video is something quite particular and unique that I haven't really done on the channel so far and it is an exploit guide. Now the topic of the, well, the topic we're going to try and exploit is legions. Now legions, as you know, you're limited to one legion until you can actually hit the acquired law, which is the royal army, which allows you to have an unrestricted number of legions. Um, before that, it's the royal guard, and you can only raise one legion in the capital region. And uh, in order to get royal army, you need to be a great power, which means you need to have at least 500 territories, which can be a little bit painy to get, especially if you're starting off small and sandwiched between like bigger nations. And you also need the invention cohorts, which turns out it is the very last one in the military section, uh, all the way down here, cohorts. So if you're big as well, and it can take a little bit of time, especially if your research efficiency is quite low. But there is a small way around this in order to get basically as many legions as you want, depending on the number of regions you have. Now, I stumbled on this little exploit not too long ago, and I thought it was just too good not to share with you guys, so hopefully this will help you out, especially considering if you're like a small nation and you own like maybe two or three regions but don't have the acquired 500 territories to be a great power, or if you are a bigger nation and you don't have the acquired tech speed and it's taking you a little bit of time to get that cohort invention, as well as having not enough territories in order to pass the acquired law for more legions, well then this might help you. Now, the trick is fairly simple indeed. The only thing that you need really is quite a bit of PI because it requires you to move your capital to another region. Uh, you'll also need the region or the area that you wish to move your capital. It also needs to be of your primary culture and religion, so do make sure you kind of prime the territory for the switch. Um, and this is really the only costly thing it's going to kind of take. Now, now, as you'll notice here, there's just the Seleucids as an example, because it's fairly easy for me to do this at the start without kind of playing a long time in order to get the required um, requirements. Uh, so basically, we start off with a Legion here, the very first one I'm just going to show you. I only have one Legion. Uh, the Stratos of Mesopotamia. We only have one, and just to kind of show you guys again, we have the Required Law, the Royal Guard, which means we can only raise one, and in order to get Royal Army, we need at least to be a great power status, and of course the Cohort Invention, which I have neither. The boxes are ticked red, and of course to be a great power, it says down here, you need to have at least 500 territories, and even as the Seleucids are this big, we still have a way to go, because we only have 300, which means we're going to need 200 more territories, so it's kind of a little way to go, to be honest, we can actually get the said law. Now, we have one region, and it's a, well, one legion assigned to the region of Mesopotamia. Now, all you need to do for this exploit is pretty much kind of change your capital to another region, and then it would allow you to raise another region here. Now, I'll quickly show you. I'll find a region that's got my primary culture, like over here, for example. Let's say it has. So this region here, what's it called? The region of Ariana. This settlement here has got our primary culture, it's got our primary religion, and I can move it at the cost of 250pi. So I'm now going to go ahead and click on this, and I am going to move it. Bim, bam, boom. We've moved the capital. Oh no, it's changed to another area. But now, if we go back onto the military screen here, you will see that, holy cow, we can raise another legion, and this is where it gets really interesting. So you'll be able to see that here, I can raise this, and of course, legions are better than levies, because you can actually really customize them the way you want, and you can put the units that you need to suit your tradition and strengths. So here I'm just going to make a little example here. I'll just make, I don't know, we'll get some heavy calves, some heavy infantry, some light units there. We'll get maybe... Um Oh, actually, I can't get all of them because, of course, it depends on the number of integrated pots in your area. So, of course, when you do try to do this little trick and you want to make the switch, make sure you prime your area with enough um, integrated culture pots, um, as well as having the required um, religion and culture in order to make the switch. But anyway, just as for example's sake here, I'll create the legion, and there we go. We have another legion, and we've kept this one. There we go. Now, you first legion does lose does lose the primogenia um, kind of trait thing here, which is like the first legion, um, and it goes to the other one. But you still have legion dedication, which gives you the nice extra discipline and morale of armies. So there you have it, a neat little trick in order to get extra legions, even though you do not have the royal guard law. So I hope this helps. I hope you found it useful. I do find this little trick particularly useful if you are playing a smaller nation and you don't have the required amount of territory is in order to get more legions and let's say you only have one or two regions or two or three regions sorry um, it allows you to raise two or three legions um pretty effectively all it requires is for you to swap your capital about uh, a few times and of course then you can just swap it a few times and move it back to its original position if you want um each way works but um, anyway that's it for this video quite short quite 
quick, um, but um, I hope you found this little exploit useful. If you did, um, please don't hesitate to hit that like button down below. And if you want to see more overall Imperial Rome content, then of course, please consider subscribing to the channel for more. And with that said and done, thank you so much for joining me, and I'll hopefully see you all in the next one. Bye for now.